how do you measure the mass of objects in microgravity? Well, we have a, a system here uh, over, and it's located, uh, unfortunately, down one of the other modules, so I can't show you, but I can show you the basic idea here. Uh, the way it works is it uses a property of the fact that uh, when you push on something with a certain force, it'll start to accelerate, it'll start to move. But the heavier, it, or the, the more mass it is, not necessarily the heavier it is, but the more mass it has, the slower it accelerates. So if something is twice as massive, it will only accelerate half as much if you push on it with the same amount of force. Um, and that means that, uh, for instance, if you have a spring pulling on, uh, you can measure how fast it starts to move, and uh, using that, figure out what its mass is. And uh, I got a little demonstration here. Actually, it uses something a little slightly different concept, but let me first show you one thing here. And uh, this is just a tape measure, the plain old ordinary uh, tape measure like you might find in a hardware store. And uh, it retracts automatically. Basically a little spring. But what I can do is show you that uh, if I attach this to something and then uh, release it, uh, the greater the mass is connected to this, the slower it accelerates. Let me show you. I've done is just tape the uh, tape measure off to uh, this panel over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick my feet up and let this thing go, and I'll show you how fast it pulls me towards the uh, wall here. You can see it's fairly slow because the spring is not uh, very strong. So now what let me do is I'm going to lock this thing off and I'm going to attach to it something which has much less mass than me. This is just a roll of gray tape. You can see that that accelerated much faster, and the reason is because it's much less massive than me. You can use that principle to measure the mass of objects. Now, what we do actually over in the uh, with our measurement device, we use uh, basically the same principle, but use uh, there's a little more accurate way to measure it, and uh, that basically makes use of the fact that uh, if you have a spring pulling on something, it's going to pull on something just like this tape measure did. But what it will do is if your spring uh, uh, has a center point, it will actually go past and swing back and, and oscillate back and forth. And so uh, what I've done here is I've set up a little uh, demonstration. I've strung a bungee across the uh, corridor here, and uh, it's basically something like a spring. If you pull on it, it, it bounces back. What I'm going to do is uh, pull on it, and I'll show you that, uh, and then let go with my feet, and I will move back and forth. And you can see that I'll move back and forth at a certain speed. Now, if I put a lighter object on there, the spring pulls it quicker in, in when, it, uh, when you let go of it, and then quicker when it pulls back the other direction. So it actually will oscillate back and forth at a much higher speed. And the speed at which something goes back and forth for the same size spring, if you put different masses on it, is going to depend upon the mass of the object that you put on it. And that's something that uh, the students can try at home. Uh, you can set up a small, uh, any, uh, small device in a box with uh, a couple of springs and different masses, and you can show that this works. So let me show you here. Uh, you should have been able to see that I was moving back and forth. And uh, it took about maybe uh, two seconds to go to one end and back. What I've got here.
here is a big wrench, but uh, it may be a big wrench, but it uh, certainly has much less mass than me. And well, let me attach this to the same thing and we'll let go of it. And we'll watch how fast it moves back and forth. It's moving quite a bit faster. It probably took maybe a, oh, maybe a quarter of a second, something like that, to go from one end and back and forth again. So, uh, in fact, the apparatus that we have is a much better version of this. It is a finely calibrated spring, and it measures the frequency or the period, the amount of time it takes to go back and forth, uh, very accurately. And from that, we measure our mass. So here we go. And after about four calculations, we have a readout, 81 kilograms, a little more than that, 81 and a half kilograms.